Welcome to Big Pool Discipleship 101, The Bible in a Year, Week 13, Ruth, and 1 Samuel 1 through 20, from Naomi to Jonathan. In Ruth 1, what were the names of Naomi's two daughters-in-law? Why was Naomi bitter? In Ruth 2, why did Boaz refer to Ruth as my daughter? Is it possible he was an older man? Does the kindness to Ruth show that there were some righteous people in Israel? In Ruth 3, what was the significance of Ruth sleeping at Boaz's feet, as opposed to his side? In the custom, was there some kind of obvious proposal of marriage? Are we again reminded that Boaz was an older man? What did he do? In Ruth 4, how was the legal obligation settled? What was the point of removing a sandal with witnesses present? Who descended from this marriage? In 1 Samuel 1, what were the names of Elkanah's two wives? What did Hannah pray? How would it have been for Samuel being brought up in the house of the Lord? In 1 Samuel 2, what can we learn from Hannah's prayer? Eli's sons treated the Lord's offerings with contempt. How did God punish them? Do we have faith to understand that God will also deal with ministers today who show contempt for his name? In 1 Samuel 3, what did God say to Samuel? What did Eli say to Samuel? In 1 Samuel 4, what happened to the ark? How were Hophni and Phinehas involved? What happened to Eli? What was Eli's sin? How was Ichabod born? In 1 Samuel 5, what happened to Dagon, the Philistines' main god, and to the citizens of Ashdod, today a port city south of Tel Aviv? What did the people of Ashdod do? What happened at Gath, a Philistine city that no longer exists? What happened at Ekron, also no longer in existence? In 1 Samuel 6, what did the Philistines send along as a gift when they returned the ark to Israel? What did the rulers of the five Philistine cities do to make sure the punishment was from God and not pure chance? In 1 Samuel 7, what did Samuel say to Israel? How did God rescue Israel from the Philistines' attack? What kind of judge would we call Samuel today? In 1 Samuel 8, who had Israel really rejected in asking for a king? What would be the manner of a human national leader? Notice words like take, make, his, best, and slaves. Does this also apply in principle to modern national leaders? In 1 Samuel 9, what characteristics of Saul are noted? Are people more impressed by outward appearance than inward character? A seer was a prophet who saw things. Do we know people who are highly respected? And what they say comes true. What happened between Saul and Samuel? In 1 Samuel 10, what did Samuel do and say to Saul? How long was he to wait? In 1 Samuel 11, what city did Saul rescue? How was Saul confirmed as king? In 1 Samuel 12, what history did Samuel rehearse with Israel? What did he encourage them to do? What did Samuel call failing to pray for them? When we fail to pray for others, what is it? In 1 Samuel 13, how long did Saul reign? What did Saul do presumptuously? What was the result? In 1 Samuel 14, what did Jonathan and his armor-bearer do? What happened with him and his father? In 1 Samuel 15, how did Saul fail God at Amalek? What did Samuel say? Complete the sentence. To obey is better than... In 1 Samuel 16, what did God say about Eliab in verse 7? Who was anointed king to succeed Saul? How did David come to play the lyre for Saul? The harp, or lyre, Hebrew kinor, was a small stringed instrument with ten strings, according to Jewish historian Josephus. In 1 Samuel 17, can you summarize the story of David and Goliath in your own words? Fill in the blank. It is not by or that the Lord saves. How could we say that using modern weapons? In 1 Samuel 18, why did the relationship between David and Saul worsen? 
In 1 Samuel 19, what did Saul try to do to David? How did Michal deceive the soldiers? In 1 Samuel 20, can two men love each other without it being sexual? How did Jonathan warn David? Well, that's it for this week. Until next time, God bless you.